Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. This is Yvonne from Ginger Chick Rehab. If you're checking out our channel for the first time, this is something I do with my husband, Chris. We take thrift store found items and we make them over here in our channel. So part of the thrift store makeovers is I have to go out and go thrifting. So once a week I try to share what I find at, our, our, at the area thrift stores or around near me. So before I get into my thrift haul, I just want to get into a, I fit in a quick little thank you to Marianne and Roman for sending me, yeah, if you recognize your card and you are watching today, I just want to thank you for these beautiful frames. We hopefully will come up with something to do with them. I'm not sure how long they were sitting in my PO box. I'm, sorry, I'm not, I don't get a lot of friend mail or friend gifts so I appreciate it very much so I'm sorry if I didn't get right to it so thank you again for these beautiful frames okay so let's get into this week's haul as you can see all the goodies behind me now remember sometimes I leave the thrift stores with nothing in hand this isn't this isn't like oh my gosh I grabbed a whole bunch of things every day and this is, so this is from Monday to Monday of what I find in the thrift stores. So I, that's how I break it down into showing you guys a thrift haul. There's not usually enough to do an everyday thrift with me at our local, because sometimes there's nothing on the shelves. And our local Goodwill is still doing where they roll out the carts and it's a free for all. So that makes, I'd rather really have them on the shelves, but that's it, just my personal opinion. So let's get right into showing you some items. So one of the items I found was this terracotta picture, 409. I just absolutely loved it. It it definitely it's it is just definitely ready to have some type of a transfer, some type of stenciling, a definitely a finished paint job. I absolutely loved it. The store actually had a couple other little containers, but I was drawn to the picture itself. So I definitely I will paint this a different color. Um, and you probably put a stencil on it. 409, I thought that was a great price. So I thought this was a unique clock for 609. I did put my battery in it, it did work. Um, this is removable so I can paint it. It's just that brownish, well, I don't, brownish color that they make a lot of things. So I just, I thought that was unique. I love that it was tall. Um, so 609. Clocks do really well. If you're a thrifter and you like to redo, have a battery in your purse, that helps. I'm not one of those thrifters that has a black light looking for Vaseline or the glowing one, but I do carry a battery for clocks. And for 309, I couldn't help myself. Look at this twig wreath. Oh my gosh, so it's got a little bit of, but it, that it's, it's bark. It's, I think it's um, pine it would be my guess, or maybe it's grapevine. I don't know what it's made out of, but I just, I was drawn to it. I could decorate it up. I could try to sell it as is. 309, I think it's beautiful. Some people might just like it as is. You could put a little bit of greenery or some flowers in it. So I thought that was a great base or just as is. Now, I love this fine. I don't know, can you see? I know my stuff's behind us for 509. It's a wreath hanger. So, um, I have one that's black. Absolutely love it. Um, so, it's nice to have this. You can set these on your front porch. You can set them in by your fireplace. So, these are always when you run across them. You don't run across these kind of items um, very often at all. And it's always so funny because mine's the same way. If you look, it is. It is not even, but luckily wreaths are usually round, but I don't, mine's the same way. So maybe it came from the same batch mine did. Um, now this was at the Salvation Army, $3.99. Look at this bad boy, he is tall. Um, I, it has one of the, look at, they put a little cork, somebody put a little cork on so you don't hurt yourself. I'll take that off um, so you could put decor on it. Um, We'll paint this up somehow, $3.99. It is big. Of course, I always like sets of two or three, but I'll take what I can find. So this was, so we got this little globe for $5.09. It's a Target. 
I think globes always sell. It's a vintage reproduction. I didn't study it very well. I just, I like the patina of it. Just great on a bookshelf. Yeah, I have a couple bookshelves. Hopefully they're gonna make their way into the booth. So that would be a nice staging item, a desk. Just a nice, just a nice find, nice, simple, nice size. So since you can see the big sunflower behind me, oh my goodness, this was 309 and it was already used outside. It's got some age, it's got some rust. Um, the flowers, if you watched my flower makeover where I did the decoupage paper with, and then I did the dragonfly also sold. That, the, yeah, that, I probably should have picked up more of those flowers from Dollar General, but you know, you just don't know if they're going to sell. I did go back looking for more, but of course they are gone. So I won't pass up a flower, decoupage paper maybe on this. I might just paint this one up and put, you can put decoupage paper in the middle of this. That would be very cute. This has got a little bit of wear, but you know what? That's that perfectly imperfect. If I put some rust inhibitor spray on it, because like I said, it's been outside. I don't care. I was happy it was a flower. For $4.09, I know you can still buy these. It's a Hobby Lobby $9.99 piece. But for $4.09, I paint these black. Paint them black. Put a top coat on them. Sell them for $10, bucks. They sell. I think people like these. So... And then look at this 409. Oh, look, it has a lid, you guys. Take this out. I'll change it up. I know you probably all think it's cute. It's a Hobby Lobby or accent of something. I don't know. Hobby Lobby. Um, put some different decoupage paper, put some transfer on it, paint it up. I love that it had a lid. Oh my goodness. Somebody taking the time to hot glue it to the eucalyptus. But love the snow can. I love the wooden handle. Oh my gosh. Loved everything about that. And then I found a bag of natural goodies for $4.09. This shape of this shape of candlestick always sells really well. And when you look at them at Hobby Lobby, they're like what four, five bucks. So not cost efficient to buy them at Hobby Lobby. So nice to so there was two of them in this bag. So that was a nice, nice set. Um this will come in handy for something. And then it did have two of these finials. So if I can buy two, two more of these finials, this would be two more, some feet for a riser. So perfect. So what do these usually retail for one ninety nine? I think are these Hobby Lobby? Yep, these are Hobby Lobby. So if you Hobby Lobby is always funny when you find the have you ever look on in the wooden section and probably why I order the Lowe's and from Amazon because I'll go in Hobby Lobby when it's 50% off their wood items and I'll be like okay I'd like four finials for a fee and that you find two there's never ever four in there so never enough to make a riser out of so probably why I always order off of Amazon and um order the Lowe's ones because I need three or four to make my risers Okay, guys, look at this. This is this is unique. This was I, the basket. Oop, oop. The basket is what caught my eye first, and as you see, it has this porcelain, um, which desperately needs glue. And I almost just dropped that. It was a Hallmark piece, but love this little basket. I can re-glue this. I can paint the apples off of this. Let me set this back down before I break it. But look at the bag of apples. Oh my gosh. It has a whole bunch of bag of uh, big ones and then little ones. And what color do you think I'll be making these? If you watched our, the, the texture paint videos where I painted some of these cement like, wouldn't that look adorable in that basket? Oh my gosh. And there's a whole bag of them. Oh, uh, probably a little time consuming, but well worth how cute it is. I think I got that whole thing for 309. So I thought that was a great price, 309. So it came with the came with the basket. And then for 109, look at this. I don't usually pick up too many bird houses, but I or bird. I don't usually pick up too many birds' nests, but look how cute this one is. 
just very cute. I really wish um, two of them, you know, take what you can get, but I thought this one was very pretty. And then for three oh nine, yep, here's the price. Oh, for three oh three oh nine, look at I got all three of these egg holders. All of it. Now I do have two in the booth. They haven't sold, but they're kind of on that bottom shelf of the booth in some kitchen stuff. Um, I haven't been able to rotate them up. It's funny, like if you can get items in people's views. Like I need to put my berry, my porcelain berry containers in there now because the strawberries are just coming and strawberries are out and berries are starting to be out. So people see those and think, oh, I'd like to put my fresh berries in those. So if I can get them in that area where it's right at their site, cause like these are on the very bottom shelf. So it's kind of hard, you have to tuck under trying to, if, if the old kitchen utensils caught your eye, you might look through it. Um, if I can suggest in a booth, just constantly Rotate your stock, trying to get it into what you can into eye view. You can't possibly have everything at eye view. People don't want to bend over necessarily all the time unless they really, really want the item to get it. But you just, it's impossible. You can't have everything at eye level. You can't, I guess you could, it's not impossible. But um, so I, every time I go and restock, I, if I notice the item's been sitting there a little bit long and I think, you know, why hasn't anybody picked this up? I might change it out with an other item and just just keep and that's the it's having a couple booths or having a booth is like getting to redecorate your house all the time <laughs> so uh, I, I probably I always feel sorry for Chris because I'm like I'm sorry honey uh, I just need to move this over a half inch okay now I need to move it over a quarter inch so good man because that yeah I literally sometimes just move things over that slightly anyway So talking about riser feet, I did buy these two cutting boards. Um, just make, put some feet on them. Those Amazon little doorknobs are a little bit on the taller side and put some feet on these. These have been used, so they'll need to be sanded. Um, but I just, I love that little handle on them. I think it's fun to put the little feet and have that handle and then do some stenciling or grain sack striping on these. So these were, this one was 209, this one was 309. Maybe because it's a uh, darker wood. So uh, we'll see what color it turns in. Maybe a walnut, I'm not sure. It's definitely got a raised texture. So maybe, and we'll see how it sands. And then for a dollar nine, I did this. I know you probably think, why did I buy this little broom? So I found a lot of people that are antique. They have these beautiful antiques that they share. Um, their homes, their stores on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. I try to keep updated with all just the pictures of the flips and what's on our YouTube channel that we just started to air. So, but I've seen people hang these on their walls, do a whole little um, shelf wall. I just, I, so for a dollar nine, I'll throw it in my booth for four bucks, not do anything out of it, five bucks maybe. Um, don't go crazy over five bucks by any means. And then it might sell, it may not. I have done a couple other ones. So I, it's just one of those, if you want something in your house to look old and vintage, nothing like a well-used broom. Now this was a little bit, this is just, I, I don't know, galvanized old tin, caught my eye, little shelf sitter. This was 209, it's a Kodiak, like the film, the old film boxes. If you all don't know, my kids work actually for the summer at where our antique mall is, our antique booths are. And the other day I came in and my son was um, going through a whole bunch of old movies. Um, so that was kind of interesting, <laughs> looking at all those little old movies. And so this, I found this the next day, so I picked it up, but yeah. Uh, so maybe somebody's looking for one of these little holders to put their movies in, or just like me, just loves the color of this. So for 209, I did pick up a little what these are just nice little shelf sitters. Put some greenery with it on your shelf. Oh, just nice little that wrought iron type. Really, it doesn't need anything to it. Now I did pick up, so I got this set. 
I know I'm not in number order here. Let's see if I can, let's see if I can balance. Um, one, two, three, four. Oh, aren't they cute? They look stone. They're a resin. I'm going to paint them up. Probably the cement, do a white wax texture on it so that that number pops. I just think, I think they're cute. Well, there's somebody that actually put a, um, a candle in them. I, I probably would. I don't use taper candles, but... And then look at that. I we do a lot of coffee bars. I make a lot. I do make coffee signs, but this one was already made. Um, I think it was only two oh nine. I hate when they lose their tag. I don't have to do anything to this one. That's nice. Um, yeah, I would hang this above my coffee bar. That's when I when I'm looking for stuff in the thrift store and when I'm redoing stuff. I always think, would I put this in my house? Would I be proud to display this in my house? And that's how I make and how I sell stuff. So yes, I would put this above our coffee bar. And then look at this. Oh my gosh, it's little. Why is everything so cute? Little, why are little things so cute? So for 309, I don't know. It must have had, I don't know. Maybe there was a spout of some, but look, I wouldn't do anything to this. I don't think I'd probably put some greenery in it. See, it sells. I have a couple larger ones. I always forget what these are called. I'm not even going to try to, you know, because I tend to slaughter words. So, but definitely so cute. So I didn't pass this up. But I can always try to sell it as if, put some greenery in it, and if it doesn't sell, then I can bring it home and paint it. That's how I do things. If I think it's cute already as is, and then it doesn't sell, I can try to paint it later. That's, it's paint. And then this resin piece for 209 caught my eye because I have the B. Oh my gosh, these little wire um, things that you could put pictures in, they do sell for me. Um, so I couldn't, it's B season, it's summer. 209, put a five, six dollar price tag on it, just clean it up. If it sells, it doesn't. It's cute, it's very cute. If you're into bees, I like bees. So for 209, I couldn't pass this up because I knew I could make something out of it. I can put a stencil, I can put tissue paper on it. I love the galvanized as it is. I love that age that they tried to do on it. So just bling it up a little bit, put some greenery in it. 209 is a great price. Then I just, I love this little vase, 209. I just, the little cement and the glazing of the white, I just, oh. Just yet again, put some greenery in it. I just think it's a unique find. Five, six bucks, you, you make your money back. So, and then just like those um, other candlesticks, the set was for three oh nine. It's um, I don't know what they are. Maybe you guys. I just the size. I love the grouping of three. So I will repaint these in the ginger chick color. But I liked, I love these little, these little size sell. As long as you price them that crazy, they will sell. So I have to thrift them low enough to be able to price them to sell. So like this set, I could probably um, do like the Manchi ones I could get 10 bucks for. So these I could probably 14 to 15 for the set. And then for that pop of jute, that pop of wood in your kitchen, this is, I, I believe it's probably a hot pad, but for 209, I, I'm drawn to these now, that pop of wood in your white kitchens. If you're doing a white kitchen, I would, this is just a nice little color, nice little accent, stick it on your counter. You can put your pot on it. There's not really much to do. There's not much to do to it. So I paid $2 for it, put a $4 price tag on it and see if it sells. So I did give, look at this, isn't this pretty? It's probably a Hobby Lobby piece. This is nice because I can take, look, it has screws. So I can take this off and I'd rather make it more of a real wood color if I can um, take the time to see how it sands and then paint this black, make it a little bit more realistic. Um, it has these nice weights for your, so when I saw it in the thrift store, it had a picture in it and they were selling it all together. 
So then I realized that it was a um, holder, like a cookbook holder and nice and big. So I just, I'm like, I want to buy it separately. So they had the set for 709. So then I got this one for 309. So apparently the picture was worth more than this. Okay, I did find some rolling pins. There should be a rolling pin anonymous because yeah, I got a problem. But they sell for us. It's funny, they sell in the one booth, but not the other booth. Now, I don't know why. I think like the, I, I as I was just restocking the other day and waiting for somebody, I, I don't know about you all, our, our, when we when we can restock our booths, um, it's this the mall is open, so we have to restock when customers are going through, and so I don't like to try to restock when somebody's. Uh, I don't want to make them feel awkward, so I wait till they have left our booth, walk around spot. That's when I can check out other people's prices or do a little shopping myself. But I think because why that one booth sells more rolling pins is because it's right in the aisle way. It's, it's on a bookshelf, it's right there. It's a, and the other one, other booth, um, it's against the wall. So you have to actually come in and there is a table because you know, I'm trying to sell stuff. So there is a table, so you'd have to spy. So it's okay, I just change them out, you know, rotate them. So this big boy was, he is a big boy, look at that. Um, 409 solid. I, I just think he's a great piece, so I won't do anything to him. Now this one was 409 also. It's got some wear. You can see some of the top coat coming off. I would really like to try. I've been watching all you other people on YouTube be doing um, stenciling transfers. I have not tried that yet. As a, as a crafter and as DIYer, I'm like, oh, I got so much in my head I want to do. There's just not enough time in the day. So maybe, maybe since I'm gonna have to sand on this piece anyway. Imagine that, I got caught in my hair. Um, now this one wasn't 1509, something else I bought was 1509. This one was 609. Look at that, it's a nice long one. All, all one, all one, very beautiful. So I don't know, maybe I will try some of that on, on the, those on some transfers and paint them up. Now this one I will not because that patina Look at that patina, I have been well loved. Um, this one was $6 at the community thrift, but oh, I love, there's something about that patina where you can tell somebody has rolled out some dough using these. So this one I definitely will just wipe clean and sell as is. Now I, now I didn't run across, look how little this magazine rack is. This was 209, so I don't mind. Um, it's got a little wonkiness, uh, have to fix that a little bit, but can you see some transfers or a stencil on this? How cute is this? Just so simply and cute. I, yeah, I had to grab it. I don't mind grabbing stuff now that I, I'm, we're spraying more because it's not fun to hand paint in there at all. Okay, for 609, look at, it's just wood just a nice little stool bench oh my gosh this shape does sell 609 you can't buy wood like that right now so did not pass this up i love that it's the natural color so i can do whatever i want to it okay i got a few more items so let me change them out okay i've got some of the other items that switched out so for 609 look at this pretty so you can look at this two ways. You can look at it as a snowflake or you can look at it as a flower. Um, I can put a $12, $15 price tag on this after I clean it all up. There is a, some little, uh, it's pulling away a little bit. So I'll take some of the CA glue and re-glue that down to make sure that it's nice and tight um, so that I know that it's going to be together. But these are just, sun catchers are just, they're just beautiful. 
and I this caught my I love this color so for 509 I actually used it to stage a couple things before I showed it um, absolutely love the bubble it's got that bubble it needs a bath but it has those bubbles I know it's catching my ring light but absolutely love the color just a nice I think it was a target piece maybe um, I don't know but very cute I just nice little base And then, oh, look at this, guys. Oh my gosh, it's a bee honey pot. It was 509, 509. It does have this, which, the, you know, that's a big thing. Pottery cells. I love when I come across the, I come across these a lot in pottery for some reason, the honey ones. So I love that it had the bee. If I had a place to put this, I would keep it. I don't really have any area to display. It doesn't really go with my decor, but I'm. That's the fun thing about thrifting and shopping is you may not have room for it in your house, but you can enjoy it for the few minutes or a few days or what have you that um, you found it. So I forgot about this rolling pin. Look at, look at the handles on this one. Oh my goodness. So yeah, these sell okay. Um, this one might sell a little bit better because it has the color you know, you press it into the cookies and it makes the imprint that's on there. So, oh my gosh, I thought I, that popped. I probably would have left it alone if it was just the plain handles in the same color as this. But for 309, since it had those handles, I think it was actually brand new. So they might have bought it for somebody since it was still in the bag. So for 409, I did pick this up because I wanted to texture paint on it. Look at that little container. Oh my goodness. Um, 409, the two colors don't, to me, don't match. But then I flipped it over and it's a false graph. When I look false graph up, it's not worth a lot. There wasn't any other pieces that looked like this. It does not match. Um, so I don't know, I'll relook it up on eBay, make sure that it's not worth a ton of money, um, that somebody's not out there looking for it before I texture paint on it. I know some people get really upset when you texture paint false scrap, but I never have found that it's worth very much. So sometimes it just sits in that goodwill. I am not an antique dealer and I tell you guys that a lot. And our little, the little town where our antique mall is, there's a lot of antique dealers. So if this is sitting on the shelf and I got it, usually the antique dealers would get it way before I would. So there, I always remember, um, you know, crazy lamp lady, what she says, we're not all going in looking for the same thing. And she's right. So I'm looking for items that I can redo, I can make over. I'm a DIYer, I'm a crafter. I'm not that type of reseller, not that that's bad. We all have our thing. So I was happy to run across 209 for this crock. I love it when I can just put a stamp on a crock. There's nothing on there. There's actually even the new sticker <laughs> on there. Um, I have to say, if I go textured paint or stamping on these crocks, these crock crocks sell better than the textured paint. I struggle a little bit selling the texture paint, but I love to do it and it's fun. So sometimes you just do things because it's fun. So I did find another one of these um, mustard jars. So I'm happy to find it. Love the color. I can get something to stamp on those marbleade stamps. So I was super excited to run across another one of these. Now this white crock was 309. I'll do the same thing. I'm just gonna stamp on this. I'm not gonna texture paint it. Unfortunately, the texture paint isn't selling as well as I'd like it to. Everything sells different in different areas, but it is it is fun to do. So it's a good shape. Put a nice stamp on this or tissue paper. Just make some, make some fun kitchen decor. Now I have no idea what I'm going to do with these. None whatsoever. But they were 609 and they're heavy metal. Anybody got any suggestions? Because <laughs> it was an impulse buy and I don't even know what to do with them. Hopefully an idea will come to me or you guys will share an idea. There's two of them. I don't even know what they would have came on. There's not even any screw holes or anything, but 
sometimes you're like, oh, those are neat. And then you're like, what do I do with them? Oh, well. Now, I don't want the sun catcher to fall apart. It definitely is a beautiful piece, but some of the foil is coming off. So CA glue for me is the perfect opportunity to glue this tiny area back down without having to hold it forever. You put a little bit of the glue, some of that accelerator dryer, 15 seconds hold time, and it will be glued down. Now I wanted to throw in how to fix a chip. Even though this is not a perfect match, it's better than filling a rough area. This is that chicken soup terrine bowl that I had thrifted a while ago that I'm like, I wanna show you guys how to fix these. Yes, you can actually add a little bit of paint in with this if you want a little bit of this glue, but all I'm gonna do is put a little bit of the thick CA Starbond glue on there and let it build up. And then when I get it to be the level, almost matching filling in, then I can go ahead and sand. For me, it's better to fill a smooth edge and, and you know, sand it smooth than to fill that nice rough chip area. So thank you so much for watching this week's thrift haul. Uh, what was your favorite? I always love to hear. Um, I love it when you chat with me. I tried to read all the comments. I've been getting a little bit busier. So I can't comment back, but I try to give a thumbs up that I've read it, or I like that I've read it. So I do appreciate. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching this week's thrift haul. And if you are a regular subscriber to our channel, thank you so much. And if you're new and checking out this kind of content from our channel for the first time, hit that subscription button and along with the notification bell so you know when we've uploaded a new video. And we'll see you next time, guys. Bye.